Welcome to Zcast, everyone. I'm Zia Scaravalle from ZK Research, and I'm here at Saster 2024 in San Mateo, California. I'm joined by Stuart Frost. You are the CEO and founder of Geminos. I am indeed, Zia. Yes. Yeah. So, um, uh, obviously, we're gonna we're here at a SAS event. We're gonna talk AI. Before we do that, though, uh, give me uh, tell me what Geminos is, what you do, and uh, tell me a little bit about yourself as well. Yeah, sure. So first of all, my background is startup founder, CEO for well, 36 years <laughs> for my sins. Uh, so my first company public on NASDAQ, it was an English company, so that's pretty unusual. Uh, amazing experience. I was just telling the IBM guys about doing the road show and everything, you know. That must have been fun. Oh, it was. Right? Yeah. 34 yeah. years old and, uh, <laughs> you know, first UK company that had gone public on NASDAQ. And oh, everything. congratulations yeah. on that. It was a wild ride. Um, didn't enjoy running it as a public company too much, but uh, the ride up, up to that point was amazing. Uh, and that was, you know, data modeling and stuff. So that's been my whole life, understanding data, uh, typically for large enterprise customers, right? Um, and then the next one was a data warehouse appliance company that I sold to Microsoft, so another good ride. Um, and that's actually how I got to know IBM because uh, Rob Thomas was kind of my counterpart. I was at Microsoft after the acquisition. He was at IBM and data warehousing. So I've known Rob for 15, 16 years, and that's led to his partnering with IBM to a certain extent. Oh, okay. And, uh, and, and so your current company, Geminos, what do they do? So I'd spent the last like 10 years before this trying to build a lot of AI startups for industrial applications. And I got very frustrated with the state of the art. Um, IBM a couple of years ago said that 87% of industrial AI projects fail. Yeah, I remember that data point. Yeah. <laughs> That's simply not good enough, right? It's <laughs> terrible. Uh, so I started Geminos to move that needle, right? Oh, okay. Now I'm not aiming to get to zero, that's impossible, but if we can get it to 75%, yeah. I've kind of doubled the effective size of the market. That's right? true, and you're still failing the majority of the time. That's amazing. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. right. Um, so the core of it is basically saying, look, the reason we're failing at all this or struggling with it is that it's based on correlations in the days of current AI. And Gen AI that they're demonstrating down the, down the end of the room there is that writ large, right? That's why it hallucinates. It doesn't understand the cause and effect relationships in the data. So that's what Geminos focuses on. We're doing causal AI. So instead of correlations, just looking at patterns in the data, we actually understand the cause and effect chains. And we're really focused on helping our big industrial customers in agriculture, energy, that kind of thing, to make better decisions. So the whole platform that we've built is oriented around using this new causal AI technology and math to help our customers make better decisions. And then why did you decide to partner in the area of AI versus building yourself? So we've built our own platform, right? We've used a lot of open source pieces. Um, but we're still quite a small company doing some pretty big things, right? Uh, and in fact, one of the big things that we've just I've been talking about this morning on a webinar, actually, uh, is integrating causal AI with LLMs. Okay. To give much better foundations to the LLM, uh, reduce hallucinations a lot, but also help us to farm causal relationships in a large enterprise from text and then using the LLM to do that. So, <clears throat> build a great prototype. It looks fantastic. The results we're getting from it are superb. Prospects love it. Now we need to prove it out at scale. So I went to my friends at IBM, said, hey guys, can you help us out with this? Give us some resources, some people, some skills. And this is great, yeah, if you plug it into, you know, Watson X and, and uh, Granite, our AI models. And so we said, great, you know, let's do that. It's not exclusive in any way, um, but they've been great. Um, you know, can't speak highly enough of them, um, giving us resources, helping us out. Um, to really test it at enterprise scale. And then, of course, you know, the ultimate goal is to hopefully have them take to market with us as well, which uh, we're talking to them about too. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And, and so which IBM products are you using? You said Watson X. Yeah, and, and really it's the whole range of LLMs that they have, the Verse Granite uh, yeah, models, granite. and uh, obviously they host Slam and that kind of thing. We're completely agnostic in terms of which LLM we use. Um, and our platform is completely open, so we can run in any cloud environment, any AI tools. Um, so, you know, what's next AI is, is a great fit for us. We can run everything in there. Um, it's also available in Azure and everything else, don't get yeah. me wrong, right? But 
in terms of partners really stepping up uh, and helping us as a small company to test the scaling of this and, and deliver it to our big customers at scale. I, IBM's the one that's doing that right now. Oh, that's awesome. And then, yeah. and so what are the benefits that Watson X brought you to your platform, but also to your customers? I mean, it is really about that scale, right? The you scale. Know, it's a little yeah. startup, uh, you know, we're, we're still relatively small going into a big oil and gas company and saying, yeah, you know, we'll we'll tell you how to do this LLM stuff at scale and it will ingest a million documents and stuff. I mean, that's just not something we can credibly take on, right? But if we can walk into those rooms with IBM and they're providing, you know, potentially services and the depth of the technology and the scale behind us, it changes the conversation, right? It gives people more confidence. Yeah, so it helps legitimize what you can do. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and from my point of view as a CEO, right? Right. Trying to build those capabilities out yeah. would be a nightmare, right? I'd have to raise a massive amount of money. Um, and, I, and in this climate, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I'd rather keep more of it for myself and my team, quite honestly. So, you know, it works really well. Uh, and as I mentioned, you know, there's been a level of trust built up with personal relationships over now, you know, 15, 16 years. Um, so, yeah, so far so good. No, it's working really well. Well, good. Yeah. And uh, as I mentioned, we're here at Saster. Yeah. Uh, just curious, what, were you, what are you hoping to learn here? You know, from my point of view, it'll be interesting to see. It's my first time. Um, and what I'm really looking... A lot of cheering going on. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, uh, you know, from my point of view, it'd be interesting to see if our target customers are really here. Yeah. Um, there's a few VCs, so I'm setting up... Uh, I've got meetings set up with a few VCs who are interested. That always helps. We're down in Orange County, so I, I live in Laguna Beach, which is very nice, but it's not exactly a, yeah. a hotbed of VC yeah. activity, right? No, it's not Sand Hill Road. And no, it's not. Uh, yeah. So I, uh, I tend to use these opportunities to, to get in front of a few people. Um, we'll just test that out, you know. But um, yeah, so interesting from that perspective. Uh, and, you know, obviously hang out with the IBM guys yeah. a bit, get to know them. Uh, a little bit more. It's always good to have FaceTime when it's such an important partnership for a little startup. You know, you don't get to have that very often. Yeah, no, it's, and I'm looking forward to the show as well. Uh, yeah. This is this is Saster 10. Right. Uh, this is my first year at it as well. I've right. I um, uh, they've kind of flown under the radar as far as good yeah. shows go. So yeah. I am excited to see what uh, what they have here, and I'm glad IBM is a sponsor here because mm-hmm. I do think it it brings a level of weight to the show. So absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. no doubt. Yeah. yeah, they've got some cool stuff going yeah. on with the golf. Yeah. Uh, so apparently, what it does is it gives you a uh, an LLM based commentary. Yeah. So as you're playing the virtual golf course, they kind yeah. of commentate back to you. So I'm trying. Well, that's I'm not a golfer, but yeah. uh, you should try it out. I will try it out. So anything else you want to add, Paul? I, I think that's covered the ground, really. I mean, like I say, you know, we're just finding uh, IBM to be very open to partnering with uh, with us as a startup. I think they're doing like the right thing. So I, I've, yeah, like I said, I've done this for 30 odd years as CEO founder. It's really hard for a startup to partner in the right way with companies yeah. the size of IBM, right? It's notoriously bad. They can soak up a lot of time, a lot of energy, and deliver nothing. Yeah. Right? Uh, IBM, I think, in this new iteration and, and how they're going about it, it looks pretty good so far. Yeah. You know? Well, I know uh, they're all in on what's next. And, you bet. Uh, and, I, and I do know that a lot of the innovation is going to come from startups like yourself. Uh, the bigger companies, sometimes it's hard to get out of their own way. So oh, know, yeah. from an IBM perspective, Startups are an important part of the ecosystem for Watson X. Yeah, but they've just got to be careful not yeah. to kind of crush us in the meantime. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but I think, you know, uh, the personal relationships help there. Um, but I do think as well, the way they're going about it and saying, we're actually going to give you access to a team of experts on LLMs for a few weeks. Yeah. Right. Really try this out, test it at scale. And then if that looks good, yeah, we can start talking to customers about it. That's a very fast path if that works out. Yeah. Well, that's the uh, so it's really a cool innovation. So. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. You know, which is difficult. It's easy to say, uh, easy to to put a plan out, hard to execute. Yeah. Uh, but I got to say, so far, it looks pretty good. All right. Yeah, we're excited. All right, Stuart. Well, uh, anything else you want to add? We, uh, that's yeah. good. Well, I Pretty appreciate good. your time and appreciate the introduction to Gemini's. Of course, yeah. And uh, all the keep up the good work you're doing at IBM. Yeah. Thanks, Zeus. All right. Nice to meet you. So on behalf of Stuart Frost from Gemini, I'm Zeus Caravalla from ZK Richards, and thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on my next episode of ZCast. <laughs>